They are choosing to protect the identity of that young victim, again, just 11 years old, and still really just trying to come to terms with what happened here, that attack happening just feet from the Bellingham Police Department, and all of it caught on camera. Surveillance video from Bellingham Police capturing the end of a school field trip. Sixth graders walking on the sidewalk when a man is seen crossing the street to confront a black student. And then he crossed the street and got like in front of me and my friend and I was talking to my friend and then that's when he punched me in my face. The attack difficult to see but doesn't end there. After he punched me, he pushed me and then he said, you're going to talk to a white man like that or what? A total stranger believed to have targeted the boy because of his race. Police arresting 42-year-old Paul Bittner, the suspected attacker now facing assault and hate crime charges. What happened here, no one, no 11-year-old should ever have to face. Uh, the toughest part about this was, you know, my son was doing nothing, you know, nothing wrong, and yet was attacked and attacked because of his color, because he didn't look like the attacker. His father, Devante, tells me while the judicial process plays out with Bittner, they can't stay silent. Yeah, you know, we have a responsibility um, to protect others, you know, others that look like us and others that don't look like us from hate, you know, and like I said, this is not indicative of what happens here in Bellingham or Whatcom County. And so at any glance of, you know, hatred, uh, we have to point it out and we have to be loud about it so that it can get cut off. He says they moved to Bellingham four years ago, believing it was a safe place to raise a family. He still believes that's possible. Grateful for the show of community support following the attack. We as the city, we as Bellingham, as a community, we, we don't want him here. and We don't want what he stands for, what he believes. We don't want him here. And that suspect, Paul Bittner, remains in the Whatcom County Jail tonight. His bond set at half a million dollars.